All right, guys, so we got the prime oil cut 60, and we're going to run it on 110 volts and see what this machine can cut. Now, right now, it's set at the max. The display shows 28, and on the low setting, it shows uh, 20 or 19 amps there. We're going to crank it all the way up. Now, on today's project, we're going to cut the expanded metal out. We're gonna cut this bolt, remove that bar, remove the four by four inch uh, 10,000 pound jack on there. Probably cut this uh, angle out and see so we can uh, get it a little bit straighter there. It's uh, kind of bowled in. And just like that, this comes off. There we go. All right guys, so I cut this quarter inch plate here. Cause if you look at it, there's no way I'm gonna strain that out. It's all warped and uh, pulled. So the, the metal is actually stretched out in other words. All right guys, so as you can see, the gap on here closed up nicely. I went ahead and got my soap stick marked where I'm gonna be doing some grinding. There is gonna be some part of a angle iron here on the bottom that I'm not gonna bother with it as it's between the, the two flanges here. This side, I still gotta do some trimming here on the bottom. I'll get my grinder or plasma cutter, whatever I need. Get this um, to close that gap. Do the grinding as well. And then here, either I replace the whole vertical section here or do a, a patch on there, still debating. I got some two by two by quarter inch wall angle iron. 
and I got this small section here is about five five and a half inches and this one's sitting on the inside this is in the uh, be on the back side and we should be able to weld it there Kind of hard to, to see on there, but the welds look pretty decent. That should be close there. Now I'm gonna find the center, mark the center, mark the center. Um, this is pretty much level there. I'm gonna get my score just to make make sure that it looks perfect. 41. Alright guys, so I went ahead and marked these three lines. That was the center from this plate. But when I measured on the bottom, this way, I was off a quarter inch. So then I went ahead and measured from the edge of the C channel, edge of the C channel. And then this line matched this new one here and I verified it was a square. Now I'm going to cut a notch in here so I can get this pipe clamp the jack in place and make sure nothing's in a bind and um, just gotta get my plasma cutter out and do that really quick correctly when you weld these it uh it makes us do like a two inch weld two inch weld two inch and two inch same thing on the opposite end and then give it a second and a third pass so i give it a pass with 60 10 there and uh, i'm going to extend this weld here so i can do about an inch and a half this is about two and um, clean it up and then i'll get some 70 18 and uh run a second and third pass on there I'm going to set it for 140 amps and I'm just going to do random welds uh, wherever I'm missing
Now the good thing about this section being in here, it won't be uh, pulled out. If something's in the give, it can either be the, the receiver or the pin. Alright guys, so I left a small gap here and it's going to be welded on this section to the I-beam every so often. Same thing over here, overlap a bit that way. And I could have cut it here in the middle and did another section, but I'll just go ahead and uh, weld it from here that way. We should be good.